So it's been a while since we've seen the X Daily. Sam, the new owner right there, taking apart the bumper. We're gonna be installing some VLANs on the front just to make the front end stand out, make it look really nice at night, you know, because of the little LEDs that, that they come with. You're gonna be integrating the turn signals into the lights and these are probably my favorite lights for the FRS BRZ thus far, because they're, they're pretty much the newest ones. So we're gonna be uh, showing you guys how to install them. First thing we have to do is remove all the bolts up top and then we're gonna be removing these little lights here to remove the clip that's under there. And if there's bolts under, we'll remove those as well. So now that we got that off, we went ahead and removed the little clip that is right in here. And now the bumper should just pull off and clip off. So the next step is to remove this little plastic bezel that covers the headlight. You're gonna have two bolts here and there. And then this bolt should, uh, should be removed as well as well as the headlight bolt because we're going to be popping that out so this should just be able to pull out but we're missing one more bolt that's right there that needs to be removed so you can remove that plastic first it just pops right off and now we can go ahead and remove the headlight we're just going to need to unplug it and then put the new ones in. This is how it looks without headlights. So now let's go ahead and throw the new headlights on. So the VLANs come with an eight pin connection, but luckily they come with a little harness that converts it to from eight pin to six pin. So you can run them on, on either an FRS or a BRZ or any special editions that you have. So they work with both. That's gonna make it much easier. One of the headlights is on and connected. And then we still have this that we need to wire up for the turn signal because it's going to be running a turn signal in there. Or I think or one of these is a turn signal. We'll see right now after when we test them. So to hook up the daytime running light and to hook up the turn signal, you come with these cables here and they're labeled pretty easily right here. You have your turn light, the day running light, and then obviously a ground. So on this car, it used to have aftermarket turn signals and they just chop off, what they did is they chopped off the connection that goes to the turn signal, which is that. And uh, we couldn't have turn signals on this car. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're just gonna splice straight into this. So if you have your turn signal connection here, you would just splice into this literally. And, uh, and that's how you would hook this up. So you'd have you'd be running turn signals up here and on bottom. But in this case, he's missing the one from the bottom because we don't have the connector. So we're just going to be testing it. So he's going to be turning it on to, to, so we can test and see which cable does what. So let's see which one turns on right now. You want to go ahead and turn on the, the turn signals first? Or yeah, just good to go. Okay, so this right here is gonna be our daytime running light. And then this one right here is our turn signal. So that's obviously our ground. So we're gonna move this one out of the way. First, we have to ground it. So let's hook up this ground cable so we can see these in action. So I got the ground connected. So obviously it's the black cable with, with the black cable. So let's try that again. And there we go. Turn signals are working. It's the yellow with this grayish color. They're different on both sides, so you're gonna go ahead and have to like test it. But if you can see, this is just like a straight up gray color. If it's the same on your on your FRS or BRZ, you can do it that way. So let's put that one down. And then this white one should go with this white one for the daytime running light. So there we go. That's on. So all we have to do is go ahead and connect those up and we should be good. The other side is already connected. For the other side, the colors we have is this yellow for the turn light. It goes to a white with a red stripe. And then you have the daytime ring light. That one goes to a red cable, just a straight up red cable because there's a red one with a white stripe, but just a straight up red cable and obviously the black with black. And we have that working. So let's go ahead and connect that and then I'll show you guys what they look like together. So here we are. 
both of them working. We got the sequential lights on the turn signals working really good. And now let's put this bumper back on. Before we put the bumper on, we want to make sure that you get all the cables out of the way. Make sure that they're not going to be dangling, get caught with the tire and, and rip off. So, zip tying them, making sure that everything is together and it's not going to be dangling and so that they don't rip off or get any water damage or anything. So, it's always best pra practices to get them out of the way. Now we can go ahead and put the bumper on. The bumper is on and the headlights are looking amazing. The black housing always looks good no matter what you do. And these VLANs, the new design on them are just simply gorgeous. So that's how you install VLANs on your FRS or BRZ. Looks like they work for both with that little added connection piece that they have. So if this hope this video helped you guys out. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe and share. And we'll see you guys next time. There it is. On its way. Ready to take off. Alright, Sam. See you later.